Smooth Gangster Soul. Yes, released all the way in 2017, May 1st. <laughs> a Josie born and bred. Live on the local hour, ladies and gents. And speaking of local, we have a very beautiful songbird, that flower lady, who goes by the name Mary Lou. How are you doing, Mary Lou? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm feeling very good. I'm happy to see you. Happiness, man. I've been looking forward to um, you know kicking back with you for a very long time. Oh wow! How many weeks has it been since? We've been um, here? hey, I don't know. I, I know you've been trying to get hold of me for such a long time. <laughs> no jokes, guys. Yeah, man. So, so yeah, Mary Lou, say hi to the people. Tell them uh, who you are. Where you hi, from. hi, everyone. Oh my word, it feels so good to be here. This is definitely the kickback, eh? The, yeah. the relaxation that I'm feeling in the space. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Right? Yeah, my name is Mary Lou. I also go by the name of Flower Lady. Um, long story short, I'm from Port Elizabeth, and I live in Pretoria now for the past two years. Yeah, um, flower lady. Let me tell you a little bit story about a flower lady. Um, ever since I started singing again, which is the past couple of years, two years, I decided at every single gig I was gonna give flowers at. Mm. So I think I've we've Wait, I've given like over. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Performance. <laughs> I, I, no, no, I think I think invite me back next time and I'll I'll, uh, I'll, I'll I think this was a trick. Get me back. Get me right. back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, first first. Because you see, if you're talking about next time, you're already raising our hopes. <laughs> We're gonna end up asking you questions about the future. Yeah, you know? no doubt. Before diff. that, before that, let's get to you know the reason why we're here with you mm -hmm. this very evening, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, in celebration of your beautiful project. Thank you. you know, and what, it, what, what we're going to be having uh, uh, or being blessed with uh, by you and your crafts Aww. this evening. Thanks, you know, man. You, 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 would you like to give a people an idea of, you know, uh, your experience in the music, how it started for you mm -hmm. and uh, what it means for you as Mary Lou and the brand? For sure. Um, so... I'm gonna, you asked me where it started, and I feel like there's been many starts. I think like, m especially independent musicians, they don't really talk about the fact that they stop and start so many times. Like, especially because being independent is such a tough thing to navigate in life. But I mean, where it started again, coming from this specific project two years ago, um, I was home, I had, I had my daughter, and I, was, I just got back into songwriting, I picked up my guitar, and um, one of the first songs that I wrote on the project was called Nine to Five. I don't know if you guys play that song here, yeah. Nine to Five. Nine to five is one of <laughs> so um, literally wrote that while I was at my mom's house and I was just, the traffic was going by. It was like early in the morning and I was just like, oh my gosh, I do not want to have a nine to five. That is just not gonna be my life. So the project came from such a natural space where everything on the project comes from real life experiences. And I think transitioning into um, the whole COVID and all all of the just the, the, the issues that the country has, and the world has been facing at large the project is like saturated with that with gender-based violence with um, people being jobless with um, just like self-esteem in general because I mean the natural effect of losing a job or or being in that space of uncertainty just allows you to like feel terrible about yourself so that's where your enough came from which is such an um, affirming uh, piece of song which i'll which we'll be playing a little later on but i mean music definitely came from a place where like i started writing out of pure expression like like just wanting to express myself you know like when when you when you can't have a conversation when you when you're going through a really tough time or whatever it is music and writing definitely is that that um medium where you can just utilize and 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 just lay it all bare you know what i mean when you can't say it so yeah that's music for me pew, pew, pew. So, <laughs> <laughs> definitely <laughs> <laughs> it's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, it really is a mouthful. You know? But it's real, you know. It's real. Yeah, it really is real, you know. But but what is what is uh, this this period in particular? You know, with the pandemic itself, how has it really uh, affected you and? Your, yeah. your consistency or yeah. rather just your mindset within the industry. It's kind of crazy to be honest with you because I decided to release this project because of COVID. Like I, when they said lockdown was going to be happening, I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to use this 
time to like really build on a body of work and do it independently like just to backtrack a little bit like i feel like i've always wanted to like record with other people's uh, other people's studios do this and you know you have this friend and this one does that and all that and then sometimes mm. it just falls through at the end of the day i feel like especially as a woman in the space it's very difficult to to navigate that where mostly men are producers mostly men are the ones who have the studios let's be real isn't this a real thing no, so got it on take a lot and i started recording i had friends i was like yo friend listen can you produce this for me no 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 and i have about i'm gonna mention the guys who are on the project mm. um p base he's one guy that has been with me for so many years ever since i like started writing when i was 18 years old and mm. it's 10 years now so well, um shout out, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> very yeah. yeah so he produced the first um interlude on the project and then grant was on the project he produced two songs on the project um i have luke m i don't know if you guys know luke m ecstasy do you guys know ecstasy ecstasy music um luke m, luke m ecstasy yeah. um a couple of other guys on the, i know they're gonna probably kill me because <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, mentioning no, everybody's no, names. <laughs> it's always the case here, like, it's just like, um, but you didn't mention my name, though. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah, but, know, but all the love to everybody who has been part of the project, you know. So, um, the pandemic and the effect of it, um, man, it's been, it's been wild because um, releasing the project, I've just realized how important it is to be digital to be in the digital space because when everything was shut down i mean we we know how musicians aren't working how musicians aren't playing like obviously we need people and if we're if we're supposed to be social distancing how are we going to be doing that you yeah, know what i mean yeah, so true. so definitely focusing on on online being online being present and i think the biggest way i'm not going to say how to support me but to support musicians in general is to really support them online subscribe to the channels you know what i mean buy the music on bandcamp stream the music on spotify like just you know do 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 all of that yeah man that's really true man you know speaking of of, of, of music um, we, we are really looking forward to uh, your blessings. <laughs> we see the guitarist is ready. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You didn't even mention his name, though. <gasps> My good friend. Be... No, no, no. We'll, he, look, he, when he plays, he'll introduce himself. Oh, that nice. That no, he's nice. he's he's a he's okay. A... <laughs> so yeah, man. Um, we 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 would like to uh, get into it. For sure. Ready for it. Yeah, Ready okay. Ready to be serenaded? Let's do the first one. It's called She Don't. She Don't? Yeah. Mary Lou. Am I going to get it in the ears? You're going to get it in the ears. Great stuff, great stuff. In just a second. And currently it is 1842 on 20FM, ladies and gents. And this is the local hour. And we bring you Mary Lou live, a.k.a. Flower Lady. She don't have to be impressive Oh, you think that she's inviting You seem to have it all wrong Leave your shadows in the night uh, Boy, bye-bye, you'll be alright Just know you got it all wrong She don't have to be your blessing No, no, she don't Maybe you are her life lesson. Ah, uh, ah, uh, she's growing flowers from it all. No more shadows, electrolyte, shining her light. Future so bright, growing her flowers and all. She don't, she don't, she don't, she don't. No, she don't, she don't have to do a damn thing, yeah. She don't, she don't, she don't, she don't, no, she don't, she don't have to do a damn thing, yeah. Does she have to beg to be alive? Fighting for the growing love inside. There's just no justice at all. So the shadows pick a fighter, get off light, destroying lives. There's just no justice at all. Is she the next case of GBV? No, 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 no. Will we find her hanging from a tree? Oh, 
there's just no justice at all. So the shadows pick a fighter, get off light, destroying lives. There's just no justice at all. She don't, she don't, she don't, she don't. No, she don't. She don't have to do a damn thing. No, 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 no. She don't, she don't. She don't, she don't, no she don't, she don't have to do a damn thing, no she don't have to do a damn thing, yeah, yeah. Why does she have to fight? She just wants to live, she just wants her peace. Or does she have to say, sir, please? She just wants to live, she something. No, 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 no. I speak straight facts when I say females are real leaders with this lyrical text. Yes, we can reach a place of freedom without babies on backs, walking through rivers without reasons, without babies on backs. Matter of fact, this is the reason it's the men at the bank. Hey, stop saving us up, can't even go anywhere. Stay home, it's safer right there. They say, no more braided hair, I'll be modest, don't let them. Said they say, lengthen up your skirt, be quiet, do not be heard. She don't, she don't, she don't, she don't, no, she don't, she don't have to do a damn thing, no, 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 she don't, she don't, she don't, she don't, no, she don't, she don't have to do a damn thing, no, no, she don't, she don't. She don't, she don't, no she don't, she don't have to do a damn thing. She don't, she don't, she don't, she don't, no she don't, she don't have to do a damn thing. Wow. And that was Mary Lou, or still is Mary Lou, ladies and gents. Wherever you listening from, whoever you listening with, we hope you feel as beautiful as we are Check your pen right now. They're too high. You know, we we uh, like I'm, I'm interested in, in you know the whole meaning. Yeah. Or or just for us to sort of you know have a tighter zoom into the song she don't for sure. have to do a damn thing <laughs> to to anybody for sure for right? sure definitely and i think like it's just that we just generally feel like we always have to be proving ourselves and sometimes when we don't want to seek validation it's something that we naturally inclined to do it just happens and it should consciously like make effort to not be that way, you know? And I think especially for women, like the pressure on women, let's be real, um, is, is, is very tough. Um, especially with the gender-based violence, this song was specifically created for that. Um, and the second verse speaks about when this beautiful woman, um, when she when she died and she was pregnant at the time and we found her hanging from a tree, you know? And that was real news and that hit so hard that I was like... <sighs> Man, even though I've not experienced gender-based violence before, I've got to write about it, you know? Yeah, and that is the duty of creatives, to, to reflect the times. And, and that's what, what I set out to do with that specific song. Yeah, most agreed, man. You know, you, we, we wouldn't have to experience in order for us to be activists. For sure. In a particular topic. But how does it, how do you, how do you manage to balance yourself in being able to take on such a very sensitive uh, topic worldwide for sure I, uh, it's not a, it's a matter of just kind of putting yourself aside and saying like you know people are really suffering you know yeah, we mm, hear about mm. it in every single space and corner and sometimes it doesn't even have to happen so far away you know so it, it starts with like microaggressions like you know how yeah, how yeah. men do certain things or have this idea that you belong to them somehow yeah, you know our women you know our women our this all yeah, of those things our girls. And, and 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 i'm not gonna I'm, it starts at that place it's like check yourself in that space you know mm, what i mean mm, check mm. how you how be conscious of how you act and how you say and how you feel like you it's like you possess somebody that isn't even yours you know yeah. so it starts from that and it became it becomes into habits and, and just behavioral patterns and stuff so 
it doesn't have to happen where people are dying per se, but it starts with literally like just like, the way you speak, where you are in your brotherhood, where you are in your all of that. That's it's just everybody's responsibility. At home, really. But it really is your responsibility. Yeah. Whether you, you see it or you don't see it, like know that people are struggling with it and mm. that it is your responsibility to speak when something isn't right in your space. That's true, that's true. So um would you like to introduce the next song for the song of masses. <laughs> the, the the next song is a is a is an affirmation. You know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. just know that you're enough. Like that's something that you hear, but is is it something that you really believe as a young woman, as a young girl? Like you're enough. You really are enough. You're enough for for this moment. You're enough for your dreams. You're enough for for just everything that you set out to be and do. In this moment, you are enough. So yeah, that's the song. You, 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 high. You, 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 high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your time, relax your mind. Keep your head up, you gon' be alright. Open your eyes, look inside. I know you're feeling down, but you gon' grow in time. It never really matters what they say, yeah. It's up to the decisions you make With every breathing moment that you take Yeah, you're running out of time So get on your way 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 way. So get on your way, take your time, relax your mind, keep your head up, you gon' be alright. Open your eyes, look inside, I know you're feeling down but you gon' grow in time. You are enough, now, bears your being, unorganized chaos, rattles and roars, penetrating your flesh, making a home in you, causing breakouts and hysteria, adds on layers of filth and fleeting mystery, rewriting your birth DNA and calling your true life history, but you are enough now, said you are enough now, yeah you are enough now, only time will have you seeing, just continue to bear with your being, you that girl, you know you are that girl, 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 yeah, you that girl, you know you are that girl, 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 girl. <laughs> Mary Lou. Thank you. Oh, wow, man. (laughs) Why did it take so long for us to have you bless us this way? Thanks, man. It feels like it's been very short. Yeah, no, no, definitely. It feels like you should do the entire album. (laughs) I'd love to. What are the chances? Definitely. We have that flower lady, Mary Lou. Like, the studio just feels beautiful, man. I see Thank the people, you. smiles all around, <laughs> all colorful. You brought color to the studio. Nice. Tonight. Some flowers, some virtual flowers. Exactly, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> Your aura just travels with you, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, man. It's yeah, been great. Man. What like what, what's next now? What's next? Oh my now? gosh! Maybe. Listen, so Where do we go from here. This EP excites me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've just released some visuals called um for your enough. Um, I know you have. Did you see it? I've seen you in the <laughs> drinking water, eating fruit. <laughs> Hydrating, <laughs> staying healthy. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so that, and then I'm working on a video for 9 to 5. It's taking some time, but like, it's, I'm so excited. It's, it's just, it's a narrative. It's a little bit of storytelling in the, mm-hmm. in the, um, in the video. And that's going to be out on YouTube very, very soon on my yeah. channel. And then I have embarked on this little project i was in nigeria this past holiday in december right mm-hmm. and i literally filmed how did you get to niger weren't the borders closed <laughs> no Yo, it wasn't man. closed no it wasn't <laughs> i was there on i was there on special <laughs> uh, no 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 that's another conversation yeah. like we'll get into the nigerian thing on another day when you guys invite me through when we'll talk about right. we'll talk about that but right. on the music side of things <laughs> yeah. i was in the 
the deepest part of the village, right? Mm -hmm. And I filmed um, some footage for one of the songs on the EP, Ebony. Um, and that's going to come out also soon. Um, like, just I just documented my entire travel there and back. Yeah. And just kind of, like, addressing some of the misconceptions and just the struggles that's happening in Nigeria. And just the people. The people are so lovely. They're so loving. They're so kind, you know. Um... I saw you dancing uh, <laughs> at some point. Some they were so just like, love. like join our group. They were like, we have a meeting next week. Come through. I'm just yeah. like, guys, I'm leaving. <laughs> but it was Shut so up, nice. Man. Shut up, man. But the heat in that country. Okay, yeah. like, we don't even want to go in there. It's Must crazy. Be, course, yeah, no dips. Um, but that's coming out on YouTube. So I've got three videos. Um, that's that one that's out, two that's coming out. I'm so excited. I can't wait for people to see it. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. Hey can I ask where you the only yellow boy in it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's a misconception that there's no mm. yellow. No, no and, and, <laughs> yellow popo. <-po. laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie, right? Mm. They were like this white lady. Mm. Ah, wait. <laughs> Me <laughs> and I'm like guys, I don't understand. No, I feel like oh, young women don't. You were the, like, yes, the young thing. women don't appreciate their skin color, their skin tone in that country. Colorism is a very real thing, yeah, right? Colors. And if you're lighter, you're better. Mm. So they really treated me like royalty. But even though I enjoyed being there and being loved. I felt so bad because for the, with their own people, they don't treat them so mm. lovely. Mm. You know what mm. I mean? Even I was wearing my natural hair and they were just like, oh, you don't have a weave? You, you know what me. I mean? Let so me it's just, it. it's so weird. Like, like appreciate the things that you have that are naturally mm. like given to you at the end of the day. But mm. yeah, mm. that happened. Talking That's about true. that, even the message to the young ones coming up, you know? in the industry what, what can you tell the young woman who's okay. coming up in the industry okay so so here's the thing i know you feel the pressure to lean into being sexy but don't that is a very real thing pew, pew, pew. right i know you feel the pressure of social media <laughs> And that you 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 feel like you have to sort of like um, conform to that, but that's just a small part of the industry, and that is not everything. And um, you don't have to do that. So stay true to the craft and make the music that you want to make, because at the end of the day, people who want it and you will listen to it and will hear it will appreciate that. And at the end of the day, the music is meant to be uplifted like uplift you it's not meant to feel make you feel some type of way or bad or like you're lacking mm -hmm. if you're listening to music like that then that's you're destroying yourself so that's that's just it for me that's how just we, you know how, how do we how do you in your opinion how do we enforce that mentality with the exposure of you know such cultures and yeah. music and, and the lifestyles out there i don't i on, for me honestly i just stay true you know i just try to stay true it's difficult because i felt that pressure when i was making this project i was like okay am i gonna go with how it, what sounds super commercial and what sounds like what people want to hear because at the end of the day the dream is there i want to make music i want to write music i'm good at it um but then you come and you you get into contact with the outside ways of how things are being done mm. and you feel this pressure of Okay, am I going to succumb to it or am I not going to? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Get your own little studio space. Get your friends and, and make your music and make sure that you get onto the digital platforms. That are, like, producing music, I, th I think that makes the process easier. As Definitely. Well, imagine, you know? Definitely. Yeah, we have, no, I, got, I got, you got a, you a DJ guy, I'm going to give you my music and you're going to play that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's how we do it. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Right, so. And speaking of putting in this work, man, let's just go to the song before we close it off and, you know, just let the people how to find you. Yes. And to access you and what's next for Matter Do. Definitely. Uh, right steps, steps, steps. Oh, guys. But yeah. Yeah, nice links, guys. Yes. Big up. Oh, God. Great. Yo, you know why I stopped you guys? Like, this yeah. thing was distorted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, distorted. when it reaches red, like, it's, everywhere it's when we go, red is suffering. suffering. Shout out so to Oni. Shout out to. So, this one, you can go like, CJ and. <laughs> Yeah, the, 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 the
Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. For real. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You know. Wow. Thank you. No, I've, re- I've, I've, I've followed you on some of your uh, Insta, Twitter. I'm already, I'm already following you. Oh, wow. I followed you on all of them. Let's, wow, let's thanks, man. Up. Really yeah, appreciate it. Take it down because now you're a coward. Like, if you start to you know, never know what I'm doing. Still, 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 how, do, how would I not know about head wraps and I know about your night trip? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting weirded out. Is this research or is it is it like legit support? Research support or stalking? <laughs> Hold on. I, I, I wanna give a lot. <laughs> If you didn't get the interview, it was talking. Hey? If, if it wasn't the interview, then okay. it's talking. Like, yeah, like, but true. because it, you got Yeah, the no, that, that's why I didn't. I said the last option last because I was like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry, you're safe. Do you want to make So we're just gonna. And you say you got videos yeah, coming. Yeah, go yeah. for this one, for this one, and and yeah. Ebony. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so keen. I'm so excited. It's like. Like the village children just like they just they were all like yes it's work they just wanted to be fun it was so beautiful and have you performed in PE? Tons. Tons. No, no, no. I'm performed you out really, yeah. I'm performed yeah. out in PE. Have you done have you done a one, sure. one blood festival? Yes I have I was there I was there in December. Oh they did they do another festival? They did another one in yeah, December. Oh wow so they closed around there. Nah, one blood uh, is amazing. I, can, I think I did it like four years ago. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 Nah, that's great. Uh, so we couldn't like have it on during the performance because of that feedback that I had. It was fantastic. So, so, let's go back. Let's go back. We are wrapping it up. Mm-hmm. Shout out to people. Shout out everything. We are going back to that event. Last one. And that was Marilou, ladies and gents, with nine to five. Also, side note, sorry, let's just quickly say oh, I'm man. not saying <laughs> don't get a nine to five. I'm saying I'm not saying don't work. I'm saying even if you have to make your own little job, go ahead and do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah. the that's, that's the point. That's, big that's the thinking. point, definitely. Yeah, man. You know, I heard uh, you know, uh, DJ Bubbles, <laughs> you know that we are big fans in the house. Oh. Like we really are, you know. At, at also, with someone that, you know, as young as you and uh, as beautiful as you, oh. we, like we really are, you know, just you know showing that support. <laughs> and we're gonna make sure that we continue supporting you, you know. Thank and you. And speaking of that, um, how do the people support you? And what other grinds do you have on the side so that we can make sure that we grow this? Okay, this, uh, so I'm, lady I'm I'm all for women and making our lives easier. Let's uh-huh. start there. Um, so I literally started this head wrap um, company called Is a Rap, right? And I did it while I was at university, and I was like, okay, cool, this thing's coming back last year somehow. Um, let's first talk about Pretoria and the fact that how expensive it is to do hair in this city. Like in, yeah. in PE, it's okay. I feel like in PE, it's fine. Like I can get it done there. But I mean, if you have to pay like so much money for hair every single month, it's like, oh, this stuff is going to come out at the end of the month. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, let's let's get a protective hairstyle going on here. Yeah. So uh-huh. I started Is A Wrap. Is A Wrap is literally a braided hairstyle. I was just like, okay, you got to be creative in all ways, hey? Yeah, COVID has, yeah. like, literally woken us up. Mm, so I was like, okay, cool. Um, combine Nigeria's trip. I got beautiful materials from there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do a braided hairstyle. So you have, you either have braids or twists or a weave or dreads in two minutes. All you have to do is just make three knots on your head and there you have it. It's a head wrap plus hair and it's it's i mean it's the simplest thing ever it's the, it's perfect it for it doesn't sound simple now that you you're saying it's just a little twist here and there and then it's what do you mean it's, it's it's already it's like you you take it out of your little packet you put it on your hair and there you go i mean like a wig or it's, it's not like a wig it's it's a head wrap 
Okay. It's a head wrap. <laughs> okay. Right. But I think the best way to explain it is to go onto my IG page and see what it is. Check the tutorials How out. Do you get there? How do the people get to In- your IG So page? Instagram, it's is a wrap. I Z A W R A P underscore hair. Mm-hmm. Um is a wrap hair. Um and you'll just see all the different colours and types of hairs that I have available. Like it's it's so simple. It's three. It's the prices range from three fifty to four fifty, and um, it ships to your door, shipping nationwide, mm-hmm. and you can choose any types of silk material or any type of like print from Nigeria, and um, with the different types of hair that goes with it. So you you've got a hairstyle. People will think that that is your braids that's from your head. Meanwhile, it's on your head wrap. It doesn't get the, more innovative. The than tricks, that. <laughs> the tricks, the, yeah. the tricks that we have to go through. Wow, okay, man. but I mean it's perfect for so, natural heads because sometimes we don't want to like comb our hair, not comb our hair, but we don't want to put it up in a, a hairstyle that's gonna pressurize our hair. So we just want to yeah. keep it like nice and protected and safe and nourished. Too. Yes, and there we go. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's okay. is a wrap hair. So so you know, um, speaking of is a wrap and wrapping up. That's, uh, <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and, and in wrapping up, man, how, how do the people get a hold of you? Um, how do the people find you? That the people that would love, you know, to follow you. How do they get a hold of you? So I am newly on TikTok. Please follow me there. <laughs> I love TikTok. Mm. <laughs> what a time waster, Marie Lou Boyson. <laughs> and Marie Lou Boyson. You close with that. <laughs> no, 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 no. TikTok, TikTok will take your time. Let me tell you that. Um, but it's at Marie Lou Boyson. And um, all of my platforms, it's Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, um, especially YouTube. I'm um, so grateful for the followers that have joined uh, my YouTube page. Keep keep subscribing. Subscribe. I see another subscriber over here. Oh, <laughs> um, that's the best way that you can support me, honestly. Just engage with me on social media. Mm-hmm. So yeah. what's next for you? Uh, what, do, what, do we, what do we see? I mean, uh, some... You know, our venues are open. Can see yeah, we'll, now, we'll, you know? we'll, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there. I think I'm just, I'm really focused on working on, on online building that. I want to, I've just actually recently worked with um, a brand that um, it's like a, I did a commercial for a luxury brand and mm-hmm. I've done some other acting commercials as well. Mm-hmm. So I, I want to move into that content creating um, space so mm, that's a new work that's yeah. good. even though you know you didn't mention Zazo entertainment uh, <laughs> no but that's how I release <laughs> that's how I'm releasing that's how I'm releasing all my music under yeah, under yeah. that label yeah no man it was really beautiful having you we mm-hmm. hope to see you again soon on the next project yes right? definitely yeah we should be the first to hear and know about it definitely and here as an exclusive right yes no for sure for sure. for sure for sure yes <laughs> Masters, it's now Thank seven you. minutes past the hour, seven o'clock, and this is how we close off the local hour with Mary Lou. And the song is Move Forward. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs>